This could go one of four ways. What's up guys, Vinny here with Sneaker Tweaker and welcome back to another video. Today we have the first impressions on the New Balance 2-Way V4. Now, the V3 and the V2 were some of my favorite hoop shoes. I loved hooping in those when they released. I mean, both of them granted released last year, which was kind of weird just because the two had released and then they decided they were going to release the three that same year. But hey, they're both amazing performers and just overall, I love those shoes. Now, will the V4 live up to those? We'll see, who knows? As always though, let's start it off with the traction. Now, the New Balance 2-Way V4 features a multi-directional traction pattern you have a herringbone traction pattern on one side and then the other side is the same traction pattern that they used on the fresh foam bbs now i have those as well I believe i did a performance review on those already but i might just do an updated one because i want to and i feel like i didn't go as in detail on that as i wanted to now i like to call this a dual traction pattern i'm i'm pretty sure other people call it a dual traction pattern too just because again you have two different traction patterns and i gotta say these things work like money on my initial wear they didn't really collect any dust at all either so that was a huge plus plus. and as far as durability the rubber seems pretty damn thick so you might be able to take these outdoors stay tuned for the performance review in order to find out more about that just waiting for me to try and grind these things down which who knows probably won't and for those of you who like a squeaky traction pattern these do have that feedback as well So it's essentially kind of the best of all worlds because you're getting everything you want out of a traction pattern or out of traction and grip on these things. So for those of you that are wanting a traction specific shoe or traction is the most important thing to you, can't go wrong with these. Now for the cushion, the cushion is a mixture of two of their different foams. Now Fuel Cell is the one that they were using in the, I believe the Kawais and also their original like the Omnis and that's what's in here particularly kind of like here from the midfoot and forward and then in the heel you have their fresh foam cushioning which you get a good amount of compression from the heel and then as far as the forefoot cushioning that fuel cell you get a good amount of impact protection now it's not going to be like oh you're super bouncy or like zoom or anything but you do get a good amount of impact protection and on top of that you get great core feel so there isn't anything more that I would say you would want out of a cushioning system. I mean, essentially you have a full package. You have great compression in the heel and then you have good impact protection in the forefoot as well. Not a crazy amount, but good enough. And then on top of that, you get that court feel. Now, as for the fit, these do fit true to size. I can't say that they fit super snug or anything like that. It felt normal to me. So wide footers, you might be good to go, but for those of you who might think you need to size up just because you have a wide foot, New Balance does have wide options in a lot of their shoes. It would be probably a good idea to hop on there and check and see if they do have a wide option. I believe it's 2E and up or just a 2E version. That should be the wide options that they have. Again, hop on there, take a look at it if you guys are interested in getting more of a wider shoe or one that's wider than this one. Again, for me, I have a slightly wide foot and this worked perfectly for me. I didn't have any issues whatsoever. For the materials and the support, the 2A V4 features a mainly mesh upper, particularly on this medial side going all the way to the toe box and to the lateral side in the middle of the lateral side. And that's going to keep things breathable, but also keep it supportive. And you do also have these fuse overlays on the medial side and also the lateral side. So these fuse overlays are great. I mean, a lot of shoes do these things as just for added reinforcement and you have them on the two-way V4 as well. Now, they did also add leather onto the upper, which I think feels super nice. Just from here on to the heel counter, that's all leather. And overall, I mean, the materials just feel super, super nice in these. I absolutely loved wearing these. Just, I've only worn these once and for my initial wear, it was, I can already tell they're probably going to be great performers, but again, that's not solidified yet. You do also have, I guess what I would call a heel counter right here. Uh, I, I don't know how much of a heel counter that is, but it is there. It's nice. It 
I mean, feels nice externally. And just for the added support, everything is there. Lockdown is amazing. Your foot's not coming out of the shoe or anything like that. And then you do have a nice wide base on the forefoot and on the outsole. So as far as like tipping over or rolling your ankle, it's a lot less of a likelihood of doing that in these shoes. So it's overall, I, I can't, I would say these things are most likely going to perform well, but stay tuned for the performance review on that. As for the weight on the two way V4s, these in the size nine come in at 13.1 ounces. So right around average. And as for the price on the New Balance two way V4s, they do retail in at $120. So I would say it's kind of more on the budget friendly side, not quite $100 or lower, but for everything you get out of it and for a performance out of, out of a shoe like this, or I guess I should say potential performance, that's a great price. The box they come in is pretty generic. I mean, it's the same New Balance box you'll see over and over and over again, just this plain red New Balance box. So nothing special about it, uh, but the important part is that the product in itself is going to be good. And I think with this, it is going to be, I forgot to talk about the tongue, but the tongue is also going to be nice. And I mean, it feels decently plush in the upper half. So as far as like relieving lace pressure and everything, that's going to be nice. You do have these nice flat stretchy laces in the two-way V4s. So lockdown, support, breathability, everything is, is all going to be there. Now, a lot of people also ask us where we get our basketball socks from. The answer is from Amazon. They come in a pack of three that costs just as much as one pair of Nike Elite socks. The ones we have are these two muted colors, which the white one and the black one, and they are quarter length. So if you guys like quarter length, they have them available in that, but they also have them in the high top version. Like I said, they come in a pack of three that costs just as much as the Nike Elites, and these are pretty much the same thing, but without the Nike branding. They're cushioned, they're ventilated, and they're amazing socks, and they last a long time. If you guys do want a pair, hit the link in our description down below and go grab yourselves a pack. Not a pair, grab yourselves a pack. Again, if you guys are wanting to see how the two-way V4s do perform, stay tuned for that performance review. I'm going to put these through the ringer and see how much they can withstand. And if you guys have already played in the New Balance two-way V4s, let us know your experience down below. If there are any other shoes you guys would like us to review, again, comment down below. For more content like this, please like, subscribe, and follow. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.